hello and thank you for joining me and for all those who subscribed thank you let's get into the vlog as a busy working mother and wife there is never enough time in a day to get things done so on this beautiful sunday morning i decided to bring you guys along while i cook my sunday lunch go through the gym and get some materials to get my curtains done while we chat about some important stuff let's talk about this Last night I did some ironing and didn't get a chance to put away the clothes because I was tired. So yeah, let's clear up some space, get some coffee and get chatting. You know, for me, there's nothing more um, therapeutic than just waking up on a Sunday morning while everybody's asleep and getting my day started. Um, getting the cooking done, you know. It's a moment for me to be alone and get the things that I need to get done. Um, sometimes even the ironing, I do wake up very early on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning and get it done um, in the quietness of uh, the room while everybody's still sleeping. You know, um, it's still dark outside and, you know, you can hear the birds shipping as the sun starts to come out and... You know, it's, it's kind of nice to be alone. I think people now are starting to think I'm probably a weirdo, but I just love spending time and um, some quiet uh, time alone um, and get to reflect and um, be in the moment. I spend so much time in the kitchen uh, cooking for my family and feeding them. <laughs> but I think uh, a lot of us have sort of forgotten the kind of power that we hold as women. You know, being entrusted with the well-being and the nourishment and the feeding of your family. That is a very uh, strong power that we hold. I mean, uh, knowing that just by giving somebody food and, you know, spending an hour in the kitchen and preparing food, you are doing so much uh, for them than just cooking. It is very important for us to understand how much power that has uh, for our family and for us as women to uh, continue to do that for our family. I think a lot of us are comfortable going to offices and putting in time and hours, uh, you know, in our jobs and all of that. But as we've done that more, we've sort of uh, forgotten uh, how much power we have in our homes. And when we come home tired and now you're still expected to cook and your family is looking at you, oh, mom, where's the food? Now you're feeling like uh, you're overdoing it and you're being overstretched and there's never enough time and energy for us to do that for our family. But we don't have the same uh, attitude when we are at the office trying to please the bosses and all of that. So I think we also need to have a little bit of a mind shift and also appreciate uh, the opportunity of being given the chance to be a mother, to be a wife, and actually take that job very serious. And for me, I take that very serious. <laughs> and I think a little too serious sometimes to the point where I even do it um, where at times where I feel like uh, I can't. But because I know how important it is to my family, I still do it. And uh, the reward at the end of the day, when you see them happy, I know my husband, when he, he's fed, he's happy. So when he's happy, I'm happy. And uh, for me, I think that is a very strong power that uh, we hold. Hence the title of my video, My Superpower. And uh, my superpower doesn't come from me overachieving out in the world and all of that. No, my superpower comes from just simply being a woman. My superpower comes from simply being a wife, a caretaker, somebody who is there for my family at all times. And um, many of us are slowly starting to forget that. And I want us to bring that back. Let's bring back loving our family, taking care of our families and being proud women and mothers and sisters and family members and carers for our community. I had to come down there a little bit. I felt like I was starting to preach. But um, in all honesty, I work for a pharmaceutical company and I've been in the industry now for over 12 years. And it is important to me to talk about our well-being, our health, because um, working in a pharmaceutical industry, 
especially in the department that I'm in. I get to see how many of our young families and our, especially black people are affected by hypertension, are affected by diabetes, you know, lifestyle diseases that we never used to have in the, in the past. But uh, lately it seems to be um, a way of life that at the age of 27 or at the age of 35, you have hypertension, you have diabetes. And um, these are the things that we are sort of starting to have because we have forgotten how to take care of ourselves. Um, most of us, we don't even cook uh, as every day like we used to back in the days. And as a consequence to that, we are starting to have lifestyle diseases. I understand there are some people who um, are predisposed to the condition or um, are born with diseases. But once we start to change our lifestyles, it also affects our health and um, we can prevent this kind of diseases. And what the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies will tell you is that uh, diabetes and hypertension um, are chronic and progressive diseases, which means that they cannot be cured. But um, we forget that we have the power to prevent them. And these are lifestyle diseases. And a lot of people have shown and proven that uh, by changing their lifestyle, they can manage their disease better or for some even reverse uh, the diseases. So let's uh, take that into consideration. Every time when you're preparing food, make sure you prepare it in a healthy way. When you're eating um, what is so-called junk food, do it uh, sparingly and minimally that it doesn't have a huge impact on uh, your overall health. No one is saying that you should be eating salad and, I don't know, rice cake every day no uh, you can eat um, your normal food you can eat healthy food but everything has to be done in balance and moderation so um, let's take care of our health and um, restore the health and uh, wellness of our families Guys, I've been talking so long and complaining about all these things that I didn't even tell you what is on the menu. Today, we are having seven colors, girl. We are having seven colors. I just wanted to make a simple lunch. Uh, we don't get uh, to have like a full-on meal like this um, too often. So normally on weekends, this is what I will do, like a full-on uh, seven-color meal for my family. And on the menu, we have rice. We have uh, chakalaka, of course. You can have uh, seven colors without chakalaka. We've got pumpkin. And I'm also making cream spinach, some beef stew, a green salad. And yeah, very simple. And um, keeping it healthy today. Most of the time during the week, we just have um, quick, simple meals, like maybe a salad and a protein, or we will have uh, roasted vegetables or a simple pasta meal with a salad on the side. So on a weekend, I try and give them uh, a bit more, <laughs> just so they don't uh, hold me <laughs> hostage over what I'm feeding them. So, uh, But we, we do try and keep it um, healthy. Uh, my husband and I, so far, have lost quite a bit of weight uh, since the beginning of the year um, like I said last year was a very stressful year with the build so this year we are trying to get our lives back and we've really uh, made a lot of uh, progress in uh, that regard now if there's one movement that has held us back as a people is the body positivity movement this movement, initially when it was started, it was for the good. It was for people that were born with uh, deformities, people that had injuries from either accidents or scars, you know, for people to love themselves and love their body um, in spite of what they look like or whether they are perfect or imperfect. And as time went on, it became a movement that was derailed and hijacked by those of us who were lazy to make changes to our body in terms of losing weight. And people just got into this mindset that uh, you have to love me as I am. Yes, we love you as a person, but it doesn't mean that you cannot make changes um, to your lifestyle and to keep yourself healthy and fit and um, in shape. And um, as time went on, uh, it became more of a movement that uh, people used to justify the laziness, basically. Growing up, I grew up as a fat child and 
even at a younger age, I didn't like how I felt. Um, I couldn't play sport because I would get tired. You go to athletics and then you get made fun of because uh, you can't run as fast as your peers and all of that. So even at a young age, I knew I wanted to lose weight. And it was only after metric when I went to varsity that I started to make changes you know i started exercising i started um, eating properly because now i was in control of what i was putting in my body and for the first time in my life i got into shape and i after that i never looked back um yes i've had challenges over the years where i've put on um weight here and there but uh overall i've tried to maintain uh, a good level of fitness and uh, a good amount of weight uh, for my body to function optimally. So ever since I tasted that little bit of uh, freedom and um, confidence that comes with being fit and also being healthy, I don't think I've ever been comfortable gaining weight. That is why even now it was so difficult for me to be at a place where I was um, kind of out of shape and not taking care of my body. And when this year started, I just decided that I just want better for myself. And now it's time for me to prioritize myself. And even when I fall back on my plan and on my exercise regime, I always want to go back and I know it's temporary. So I'm not saying I'm perfect all the time, but I know that uh, whatever setback I have is only a momentary phase and eventually I will go back to uh, doing better. And I don't want it to take too long. So if you're in a difficult space right now where you feel like you can't exercise or you can't be um, eating healthy and all of that, allow yourself a little bit of grace, but know that uh, you have to make the changes. Take one step at a time. And even if you fall off the wagon, go back and uh, continue on the journey. And eventually you will get to a place where uh, you find your rhythm and uh, follow um, the plan that you have. And then you will succeed. And I know, guys, that exercising is not always easy. I mean, uh, after I finished cooking here, I still had to go to the gym. A part of me wanted to talk myself out of uh, going to the gym. But over the years, uh, I've always learned that, you know what, if you want to decide on whether you're going to the gym or not, uh, start thinking about it and make that decision after you've put on your gym clothes. And uh, half the time, if you put on your gym clothes, you will end up going to the gym. And just like that, guys, uh, Sunday lunch is cooked. And imagine being asleep and being woken up by the smell of beef stew. <laughs> I think my husband is quite lucky. <laughs> so, yeah, and just like that, uh, it I ended up going to the gym. And I didn't feel like going, but um, I was quite impressed because I managed to run five kilometers and in not a bad time, 31 minutes, 23 seconds. And after that, I managed to do a little bit of skipping and some um, functional exercises and uh, I called it a day. I was tired after that, but um, I was glad that I did it. Uh, you know, it's it's not nice uh, forcing yourself to go to the gym, but when you get out of there, you really feel good that you've achieved something and you've managed to um, get this far, especially without the energy. And after this, I went home to go get a shower and get ready because my day was still not done. I still had uh, plans to go and have lunch with Mrs. S and I had to go home and get ready. But even before the lunch, I still had another stop to do. And I had to go to Chamdo to go and get fabrics for my curtains uh, that you will hopefully get to see me make in uh, another video. Uh, I saw in one of my request in one of my videos uh, a request for me to show you how I make my curtains. So yeah, that will be coming up. And yes, guys, that was my very busy and productive morning, but I managed to get a lot of, uh, done on that day. So yeah, I was very happy at the end of the day, but very tired. So thank you for joining me and seeing how busy I get on a Sunday morning.